Scene script. Have you ever considered the potential devastation a tiny mouse can cause? It might seem counterintuitive given their small stature and often docile appearance. Yet as we'll see, these seemingly harmless creatures can unleash a level of chaos that belies their diminutive size. Picture this. A quiet house, a peaceful night, and then a faint scratching sound. It's easy to dismiss as nothing more than the creaking of an old house. But that small, almost imperceptible noise might be the first sign of a mouse menace. These little creatures, weighing no more than a few ounces, have an uncanny ability to cause grand-scale problems. They can gnaw through wires, causing electrical short circuits and even house fires. They can burrow into walls, chewing their way through insulation and weakening the very structure of a building. And let's not forget the potential for food contamination as they forage for nourishment, leaving a trail of bacteria in their wake. But the damage isn't just physical. Mice are known carriers of various diseases, some of which can be fatal to humans. From the hantavirus to salmonella, these small rodents can deliver a potent and dangerous cocktail of pathogens right to your doorstep. Moreover, a mouse doesn't operate in isolation. One sighting could very well mean an infestation is underway. A single female mouse can give birth to up to 10 litters per year, each litter containing anywhere from 5 to 12 pups. This rapid rate of reproduction can quickly lead to an overwhelming population boom, exacerbating the problems they cause. These are no mere nuisances. They are tiny agents of chaos, capable of causing significant damage and spreading disease. Their small size, far from being a limitation, allows them to infiltrate homes and buildings with ease, often undetected until the damage has already been done. Now that we've established the potential for disaster, let's delve into some real-world examples. Believe it or not, mice have been causing problems for humans for centuries. These little creatures, as cute as some may find them, have a notorious history filled with disaster and destruction. One of the most infamous instances is the Black Death in the Middle Ages. This was a catastrophic plague that decimated Europe's population, claiming the lives of an estimated 25 million people, nearly a third of the continent's population at that time. And do you know what was at the heart of this disaster? Yes, you guessed it, our tiny furry friends, the mice. Well, to be more specific, it was the fleas on the mice that were the real culprits. These fleas carried the deadly Yersinia pestis bacteria, which they spread to humans through bites. The mice, with their ability to infiltrate human homes and settlements, provided the perfect vehicle for these fleas to reach their human targets. But it doesn't stop there. Mice have also been responsible for crop destruction throughout history. In ancient times, a mouse infestation could mean the difference between a successful harvest and a season of famine. Even in more recent times, during the late 19th century, a mouse plague in Hano, China, led to the loss of entire rice harvests. This resulted in widespread hunger and contributed to social unrest. In the early 20th century, Australia faced a mouse plague that lasted for two years. It was so severe that it destroyed crops and caused significant economic loss. The mice even gnawed through wooden structures and invaded homes, causing widespread panic. So, as we can see, the threat of mouse disasters is not a new one. These small creatures have left a large footprint in our history, one that serves as a reminder of the havoc they can wreak. It's clear that our relationship with mice is fraught with challenges, and it's a battle that continues even today. In the modern world, the potential for mouse disasters hasn't diminished. In fact, these pint-sized pests continue to pack a punch when it comes to wreaking havoc on our lives. Take, for instance, the mouse plague of 2020 in Australia. Picture this. Millions upon millions of mice swarming across farmland, devouring crops as if they were at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The scale of destruction was mind-boggling, with farmers bearing the brunt of the damage. The loss of crops was just the tip of the iceberg. The mice also infiltrated homes and businesses, chewing through wires, furniture, and pretty much anything they could sink their teeth into. But the devastation didn't end there. Allow me to paint another picture. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night to the sound of mice scurrying in your walls, or worse, across your bed. 
The psychological toll on the residents was immense, with many describing the experience as living in a horror movie. And then, there was the potential for disease spread. You see, mice are carriers of various diseases, some of which can be fatal to humans. In the midst of the 2020 plague, there were concerns about the risk of hantavirus, a potentially deadly disease transmitted through rodent droppings. Thankfully, no cases were reported, but the threat was, and still is, very real. Beyond Australia, instances of mouse-related disasters are not uncommon. In various parts of the world, from the Americas to Asia, these tiny creatures have been known to cause significant problems, whether it's through crop destruction, property damage, or disease transmission. So, while these creatures may be small, the mayhem they can cause is anything but. These recent incidents serve as a stark reminder of the ongoing threat posed by our tiny adversaries. From a single mouse to a full-blown plague, the potential for disaster is always there, reminding us that, in the battle against these pests, we must always be ready and vigilant. So how can we protect ourselves from these pint-sized pests? Well, it's not as daunting as it may seem. The key is prevention, and there are several proactive measures we can take to keep these tiny invaders at bay. Firstly, regular cleaning is paramount. Mice are attracted to clutter and filth, so maintaining a clean and organized living space is essential. Make sure to clean out those hard-to-reach corners and hidden spaces. Remember, mice are tiny and can sneak into the smallest of spaces, so no corner should be left unattended. Secondly, proper food storage is equally critical. Mice have an excellent sense of smell and can detect food from a distance. Therefore, all food items should be stored in airtight containers and the kitchen should be kept clean at all times. Leftover food and crumbs are a feast for these tiny creatures, so cleaning up immediately after meals is a must. Now, if you have already noticed signs of a mouse invasion, like droppings or chewed wires, it's time to take action. Mouse traps are a common and effective method for dealing with mice. There are various types available, from traditional snap traps to humane live catch traps, for those who prefer a more compassionate approach. However, if the infestation seems extensive, it might be best to call in the professionals. Pest control services have the expertise and the tools to deal with the problem efficiently and safely. While this may seem like an extreme step, it's important to remember that mice can carry diseases and cause significant damage to your home. Don't forget, prevention is always better than cure. By regularly cleaning, storing food properly, and taking timely action when needed, we can create an environment that is less attractive to mice and other pests. By taking these steps, we can greatly reduce the risk of mouse disasters in our homes and communities. Let's do our part to keep our living spaces safe and pest-free. So, what have we learned about the potential for mouse disasters? Well, it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the past, examined the present, and even taken a glance into the future. We've seen how these tiny creatures, often seen as harmless, can, under the right conditions, become a significant problem, even a disaster. We've explored historical instances of mouse disasters, where these seemingly insignificant critters have caused considerable chaos. From the Middle Ages, when they were seen as a harbinger of doom, to more recent times where their impact on agriculture and infrastructure has been felt acutely. We've seen how their numbers can explode in a short period, causing what we now term as mouse plagues, a phenomenon that's as fascinating as it is frightening. In our modern era, we've seen how mouse disasters continue to be a menace. Despite advancements in technology and pest control, these resilient creatures still find ways to infiltrate our homes, our fields, and our cities, causing significant damage. They gnaw through electrical wires, cause structural damage, and even pose a health risk by spreading diseases. We've also discussed the various methods to prevent these disasters. From simple domestic strategies like maintaining cleanliness and sealing potential entry points, to more sophisticated pest control measures that use a combination of traps, poisons, and even high-tech devices. Yet, despite these efforts, we continue to grapple with the mouse menace. Yet this is not a tale of despair, but one of knowledge and preparation. Knowing the potential risks and taking proactive steps can certainly help mitigate the damage. 
We've seen how communities have come together, how scientists and researchers are always looking for better solutions, and how every small effort can make a significant difference. While we may never completely eliminate the risk of mouse disasters with knowledge and preparation, we can certainly mitigate the damage. Remember, it's not just about the size of the enemy, but the size of the havoc they can wreak.